Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the club. It's bell time. My name is Drew Kazoo, and I am joined at this time. I have two very, very special guests. First, Boston Police Commissioner Will Gross is here with us today, as well as a man, who, the champ, former Boston Celtics player, Leon Paul. Welcome, Leon. Oh, a pleasure that. to have right. you here today, right. sir. You guys ready for some professional wrestling action? Oh, yeah. I see yeah, you. Uh, let's we do it. We're ready to go. We're ready to roll. I, ready I think to go. I can get out there, too. Uh -oh. I think so. I don't know. Don't tell Dante that because he'll get you in a match for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. It doesn't get any bigger than this match right here as we see the entrance. Demon, Luis Ortiz. And he has got a tall order ahead of him. A standing across the ring from him. The kingpin, Brian Malonis. Well, Ortiz better bring it because that's a famous name at Fenway. Absolutely. Introducing first in the corner to my right, from the bar, we shout out to Dante. 95 pounds, one half of the bouncers, Brawler <laughs> Malonis. His opponent directly in front of me hails from Puerto Rico. Weighing in at 205 pounds, Demon Ortiz. So much at stake in this match. Uh -huh. These two men trained by Killer Kowalski. Both almost parallel career paths, but it's Brian Malonis who over the past few years has broken out and is now Ring of Honor superstar, one half of the bouncers. And you gotta wonder, if Demon Ortiz feels a little sour grapes, maybe a slight little bit of jealousy that his contemporary has gotten this far, and he's got something to prove here today at Fenway Park. Well, let's see what he can do. Well, I'll tell you, everything about this match is big. Not just the size of these two men, but the ramifications behind it. Oh, as we see Demon Ortiz now. Demon Ortiz, there is pretty much nothing that this man cannot do in that ring. He's capable of anything. He knows how to get out of situations. He can fly, he can strike, he can take it to the mat, but all that's easy to say. But he's standing across the ring from 450 pounds of Brian Malonis. What's he gonna do when he hits that big wall? <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Yeah, so got, Leon, are you a wrestling fan? Yeah, 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 I'm a wrestling fan. I'll go way back, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin days and all that. No. Hey. Oh, hey. wait a minute now. Hey, hold up. He's got <laughs> some words. Oh, oh, stay oh, here. Stay oh, here. Hold on. I, I got to hold him back. There. I can't get in there. I you literally had to hold Leon. Hey, I, I wrestled with Big Baby before. Don't play with me. Come on. <laughs> We're witnessing Boston sports history unveiling, happening for us right in front of our eyes here. Leon, stay here, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I am. Malonis now. Got Ortiz in the corner. We can see a clean break. Nope. Like I said, Ortiz ready for him. Wow. Whoa. Here we go. Brian Malonis now just manhandling the demon Ortiz. Huge shoulder tackle. So let me ask you the. Uh, Mr. Gross, yeah, have you, did you used to go to wrestling matches back in the day at the Boston oh, Garden? Oh, man, uh, back in the day, Georgie Animal still. Seeing the brothers fighting on the turnbuckles. See, it was just crazy. Speaking crazy, my language crazy. right now. Absolutely. I'm old school. I'm a little older than Mr. Poe, but. Uh. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> just a little bit. A little you know, bit. You know, I go back to Ultimate <laughs> Warrior, you know, but then I, I bring it in with Stone Cold, and then, you know, got a couple big shows. Oh, man, in there. I'm old. Yeah. Hulk Hogan. Hulk oh, my Hogan. God. Oh, yeah. You went back there. <laughs> hey, hey, the hand, the hand. Hey, you ready? So now I'll tell you, Brian Malonis. Oh. As a, well, let's see what the o Demon Ortiz is going to do here. Up and over. Going for that single leg takedown here. Malone is just too big. Oh, no. I spoke Whoa. too soon. I and, felt that. And he took a boot to the face now as we see the Demon. Beautiful senton over the top rope there. Trying to get the Bell Time Club faithful into this contest. I was going to say Malone is, as a youngster has been to hundreds of Red Sox games with his uncle. Yeah. So you know that being here at Fenway Park really means something. So let me ask you, Leon Poe, 
What's it like to have the pressure of the hometown crowd? Wow, Ortiz hard into the corner. What's it like to have the pressure of the hometown crowd? All eyes on you, and you need to perform. Oh, oh, it's, it's a lot of pressure, but you can't. You got to block out the noise. You got to be ready to get it done. And then what you training for? Go out there and, and, and do your thing. And that's I got to say, that's got to be the other mindset of both of these men here, because uh, I think that both of these men have a lot to prove to themselves, to each other, to their contemporaries. Nobody home for that elbow there. Ooh. And most of all, to the Bell Time Club faithful. Yep. Again, this is as high profile as a match as you're going to get it on a stage as grand as this right here at historic Fenway Park. So let me ask you then, Kamish, who do you got your money on? Big man. I'm a part of the big guy club. Okay. <laughs> That's probably smart money, but... Let me ask you, Poe, who do you got your money on here? I, I will say the big man, but I think the Damon, he a little quick. I think he got to use his quickness, though. If he uses quickness, he can take advantage of that. But if not, we're going to see what's going to happen right now. He's going to keep getting set on like Humpty Dumpty. Yes, These right. guys are naturals. Wherever I don't know. Wherever Joe Business is right now, he's fired. And we're hiring <laughs> Leon Poe and Commissioner yeah. Gross because yeah. these guys got it in the bag. That was real. <laughs> you see Malonis now. Oh! Get the demon hard out I of I hate when that three. happens. <laughs> One, two, not enough. Demon's going to need some angels to help him out. Yeah. Well, again, a legend here in Boston, a legend here in New England, Ortiz. It's his first time wrestling here at Fenway Park, and he doesn't want to leave with an L. And he's going to do everything he can to try to get past this mountain of a man, this 450-pound Brian Malonis. That we alluded to earlier, Brian Malonis, his career skyrocketed, fighting for Ring of Honor gold. During that time, though, Demon Ortiz was out with an injury for two years as he watched a lot of his contemporaries, including Brian Malonis, seemingly pass where he was, and he's here to prove a point that he deserves to be there as well. I think the Demon right now, he's going to need a miracle. He's not miracle. using the speed. He's staying in front of the big guy, and you can't do that. I know, because I'm big. Somebody <laughs> stay in front of me, they get pulverized. They get handled, and that's what's going on in the demon right now. He's getting handled. Well, you guys got to run up and down the court for 48 minutes, and that takes a lot of training. So how important is it, the speed factor here for the demon? Uh, how important is that for him in getting a victory here? Oh, it's very important. He got to use it. He uses speed. Oh! oh! But don't get caught like that. He just oh, got no. caught. He tried to use his speed, but it didn't work. And Malonis is the other big poppy here in Fenway. Oh, Absol my goodness. Absolutely. I'll tell you what, if he keeps up this punishment, you might have to go out there and put the cuffs on him. Because it's going to have to help him out. Going to have to help him out. Another interesting note here. Brian Malonis, back in April in Malden, he fought in a Bell Time Club challenge and earned his spot here in the Bell Time Club. The Demon... Back in February, just asserted himself into the pitcher, and he took what he wanted, which was a spot here in Bell Time Club. So Commissioner Smooth says, all right, you want a challenge? I'm going to give you the big man, Malonis. And here we go. That's New England a big Russian challenge. History being made. Uh, uh, as big a challenge as you could imagine. That's a mountain of a challenge. 450 <laughs> pounds. Almost the size of my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the Demon and Malonis have wrestled Overseas, the demons wrestled in Puerto Rico and Japan. As you see, the demon now fighting back, getting to a vertical base, those hard shots. And stifled immediately there by that huge elbow of Brian Malonis. Whoa. And the Puerto Rican poltergeist, definitely, definitely the worst for wear now. Oh, wait uh -oh. a minute. Uh oh. oh. Here we go. We Sleep got? hold applied. That may be what he needs here. Malone is slowing down now. The demon got some fight left in him. Wait a minute. Let's see. Trying to get out of it, and he oh. does. Malone is now. You can tell he's slowing down. Nobody home for the leg drop. Felt that over here. Oh. Brian Malone's favorite movie, Major League. But he's dealing with a wild thing of his own. Whoa! Look at that maneuver. And we got the demon now in control of the match. Catch your breath, demon. Catch your breath. Okay. There you go. I don't know. Big man's not out of it. 
Reversal on that Irish whip. Oh. Like a huge handspring elbow there by the Demon. Things are looking up for him right now. The Demon is breaking him down by size. And the Boricua Boogie Band going to the top now. Big elbow drop. Could that be it? One, two, no. Oh. Nope. Nope, still got some fight. He got some fight left now. Just a bit we outside. <laughs> we gotta see. Well played, Kamish. Well played. We got to wonder now if the Demon is trying to set up Brian Malonis for his finisher, that split-legged moonsault we've seen him win with so many times. Wow, the agility. Told you there, the ability for him to handle any circumstance. That speed. Huge oh. boot to the face. Malonis now is trying to chop down the big tree. Ortiz going up. Hey. Huge top oh, rope bulldog. Grand slam. One, two, three. Oh, no, oh, no, oh. no, no, no. Just at the Run. last second there, Malonis got the shoulder up. Oh. They're going at it. They're going at it. I like to see this. This is one of them. Hard fought playoff games look like the NBA game we fight in the playoffs. It's Absolutely, hard and it looks like at this point it seems like they're going into overtime. Yeah, uh huh. Like a Yankees Red Sox game. Sometimes you need a little overtime to get the job done. Just Definitely. like I try to cook in the morning. I need a little bit of extra time. Cook some bacon and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the now prestige. Yeah. Oh, wait oh, a minute. Oh, look at that. Look oh. at the power uh -oh. of Demon Ortiz now. Demon looks possessed. Oh, I hate when that happens. And shut down immediately by the kingpin. Could be the beginning of the end here for Ortiz. Yes, might be it. Oh! I'm going to say that's it. One, two, two three. Oh. No! Wow! Oh. The heart oh. and the intestinal fortitude. Of the Demon Ortiz. Too much at stake here. Too much on the line. This match is all about pride. It's all about the legacy. Demon Ortiz does not want to leave Fenway Park with an L. Gonna have to bring in Poe. It's the closer. No. He Finish not. it. He's, he don't want to leave. Face paint and all coming off. He's still fight. Still fight. Lost his bling too. Wait a minute. What do we got here? Couple of oh. big knees, oh. wearing down the big man, chopping him down. Oh, got him down to one knee here. No, ducks the clothesline. Uh oh! Oh! oh. Beautiful oh. tilt the world DDT. One, two, three. Oh, oh. And he's got him. oh it's over. What an upset! Demon it's Ortiz Demon. has Ooh, defeated Demon. the Kingpin Can Brian Malone. Wow! Wow! Gentlemen, you just witnessed New England oh, man, wrestling history that. here at Fenway Park. Demon Luis Ortiz has defeated the Kingpin, Brian Malonis. Unbelievable. Wow. That was crazy. Wepa. crazy match. Crazy. What an absolutely wow. unbelievable contest that was. Can't ever count the little guys out. Never. Wow. The Demon, that's more like Dante's Inferno. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was an Inferno, all. to yeah. say the least. What an incredible match, and I was very lucky to be joined by Boston Police Commissioner Will Gross and Celtics legend Leon Poe. Gentlemen, hey. thank you very much for joining thank me. You. The pleasure was all mine. My name is Drew Kazoo. For everyone watching at home on YouTube, we'll see you next time. We out of here. See you next time. Yes, thank you, my brother. Yep. <laughs> nice. Yep. Yes, sir. Unbelievable turn of events here. What a match. Wait a minute, what's this? Hold on a second. Ladies and gentlemen, Leon Poe, wait a second. Hey, 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 y'all want that is? I'm out here, y'all want that is? I don't want that? Step in the ring, my boy. Ryan Malonis has just challenged Leon Poe to get it. He's not going to get in the ring, is he? Wait a minute. Celtics legend Leon Poe now getting in the ring to take on the kingpin. Hold on. This is incredible. What? Oh my goodness! 
Leon Paulez just put the kingpin Brian Malonis down oh. with the Celtic stunner. Can you believe it? Wow. Yeah. Woo. Oh, oh you never know what to expect here well, at the Bell give, Time Club I'm have to give him an here escort. at Fenway Park, part of El Mundo. Unbelievable, folks. Boston sports history being made right yeah, here in front of us. Unreal. I got to go, little son. I had to leave after that before he wake up. Man, I'm going to give you an escort out yeah, of here, yeah, man. I'm going to give you an escort. Yeah. <laughs> all right, baby. All right, thank, thank you. you. Yep. Appreciate you. That was incredible. Following